You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until a moose? Recently. What happened to the moose? Right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. Hmm. Oh, the Cult of the Tree. Are you familiar with the Cult of the Tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but, uh... Now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well... We're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. Is that a teacup red? <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. Now oh, your commercials. So, your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh... Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. I already checked out two of them. I'm missing something. I should try profiling. All right. Urban legend. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops. Brother. Yako. The shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Mm-hmm. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? White laughter and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilmo. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spear key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. Mm. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. So they can provide the spare key and we can probably dig more into the, about the cult. Uh, do we have anything on case board? Yes, we do. Fact versus fiction. So a new, a new case file. Wakes says the story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real. And what's fiction? Hmm. So let's see. Owns a trailer park and supposedly lived, uh, the funniest resident. Life and watery. Then we have Rose, um, Recognized me in the diner at Bright Falls. Says I moved away after Logan died. So, I guess in our daughter, Logan's a part of this story. That's all for the case files for now. And we've done our profiling, so we can go back and talk to them again. Joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. Mm. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop yeah. safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Okay. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. All right. Call the gift shop so they can get Saga a hand. Yep. Trail of 
the coat. The spare keys. Okay. All right. The Cascales think I lived in the trailer hmm. park with Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Why aren't mine affected? Hmm. The spare key is at Coffee World. First the witches at the diner. Now the Cascales. They Can't just Logan and I used to live here. Swim more quickly. Our story would make people crazy. Like they're being brainwashed to believe the story. Is it spreading? Flooding did this? Was humanity really meant to cross this river? Or any obstacle? I mean, we could just swim, but it's whatever. The game doesn't want us to do it. See ya, dudes. There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. It's gonna be interesting. Coffee World. Okay, let's look at our map real quickly. Alright, so when we get up here, we probably want to turn right, check that area out, and all that stuff too. Maybe even this area. If we're able to. Ah, yes, supplies. Do, do, do. Oh, what was that? It sounded like an arrow. Hmm. First things first. It's hill. So it looks like we're going into dangerous territory now. Oh shit, someone throwing axes. Shit. Let's look at her thing, okay. Huh. Fuck is this dude? dead oh. what the fuck oh. ah, shit more people turning into taken mm. is this the cult or the story or both go down here to see if there's anything down here let's see is there anything in this little gap here though oh okay so it's a little shortcut up to these buildings we won't try and take any shortcuts until we have to walk back I'm surprised people haven't heard those gunshots, though. Oh, hey, it's one of these. 
another rhyme. Interesting. Another house, leaf, sun, tree. Gentle beast with a beautiful crown. Beast with crown runs through the woods. Woods runs through the woods with a frown. So crown frown. From the hunter, he flees between the trees. Um, very interesting. Ah, uh, we got another doll. Got two dolls. Got a moose doll. So let's see. I wonder if we can solve one of these. So the gentle beast with a beautiful crown. So I'm guessing moose. Runs through the woods. With the worried frown. So I'm guessing we put the moose. Well it could either be the moose or a deer. I'm thinking moose. Oh. Something feels different. I should look around. This changed the reality of our world was that there before interesting what did we change oh was this here before Whoa. Um. This is ridiculous. The hell, this wasn't here before. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. So to get more charms, you need to do these rhymes. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Interesting. So what is this charm? Saves you from death, but shatters in the process. Oh. Very cool. So wait, is there anything else I need to do with this? I don't, yeah, I guess we don't have to do it. So we'll keep it for now. Hmm. Well, now that I have solved my first rhyme, I am kind of wondering what I can do next. So it seems like you can solve them as long as you just have the uh, key item. Let's see. Yeah, just keep going straight. It's very interesting. Mm, something's up there. It's like a stash. Gotta figure out how to get up there. Let's look at the map real quickly. It's like we get up there by going ahead a little bit more. Hmm. Don't we have any more healing items or is it just... We do. Let's do a quick slot. Let's just put it... Here for now. Two painkillers. Okay. Yep. It's a cult stash. So it looks like Watery has their own collectibles too. Oh, what's this? Manuscript. What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. 
These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of the terminal patient. <laughs> Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalavala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. Hmm. The end of the road was in sight. That was coming fast. They need more tourism. Another one of those cult boxes. Da, da, da. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Got more propane tank stuff. Shotgun shells. How many shotgun shells do we have? We could probably use that. Found another dead taken over by the radio tower. Radio tower. Bash to death. Uh uh. Wonder who killed the taken. So it wasn't us. We didn't bash a taken to death, so interesting. So we have about got a good amount of ammo still. Unless we have a very big scrap ahead of us. And we're gonna be in some trouble. This is a pretty big area too, so this some shit could go down here. Man, we really need uh whatever we need for this. I like how we still have the shortcut key though. Colt necklace. We still haven't had any use for the Colt necklace yet. Yeah, I think we need some type of hairpin or or no screwdriver. Screwdriver and we need bolt cutters to start opening up the areas a little bit more. So it'll be very interesting to see where this plays out. I'm going to investigate this place. Hunting shack, watery. Interesting, there's numbers on areas. Oh, it's a safe area. Oh, I gotta do it three times. Oh, really? Um, as long as we're not getting attacked, we're good. Seemed like it was right on the dot, too. Let's do this before that. It's another manuscript. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing a line. Something darted across the path ahead, too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods. A noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. There we go. Okay. Discard. Or no, don't discard. Move. There. And good for now. Let's do a manual save. Boom. Now we're eight hours in. 
Man, if we're only eight hours in, <laughs> we got a long way ahead of us. That doesn't sound good. I mean, I know this is metal and everything scraping together. A lot of it needs some WD-40 or some oil, motor oil. Another cult stash. Interesting. Let's see what the thing is. If you take the cr ooh crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done, and change the code as asked. So the code has been changed. What's the code look like? Numbers. So there's numbers within the cone. Oh. Two, there's two arrows in that. One arrow in five. And three arrows in seven. So I'm guessing five, two, seven? I'm assuming that's how the thing is. Five... Two, seven. Oop. Ah, dang it. I need to do that with a D-pad. There we go. So is there a crossbow? Oh, wow. If you aren't wearing the mask, this does not belong to you. It's mine now, suckers. Find the crossbow. Well, we only have one arrow. Oh, but can we take these? Nice. Hopefully the crossbow is good. Well, I guess for now I'll use the crossbow. So I think what I'm going to do is quick slot it to here. And then quick slot that to there maybe. Very interesting. Now we have a crossbow. Cool. Uh, looks like it has a drop, so I'm kind of wondering what the distance is with the crossbow itself. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So that's a container that's locked. Oh, there's a crossbow bolt. Down there, I guess we can get that when we can go over. Oh, there's a radio tower. It should be a dead, uh, I guess we'll visit a radio tower first. It's an optional area, so I might as well. Is this the same thing we looked at? Oh, I might be going. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Oops. My bad. Be a little turned around sometimes. Okay. Looks like we can turn right here. Fight that guy when we come back. I don't know if there's going to be traps or anything like that, but got to be careful just in case. Looks like there's a safe area. <clears throat> kind of wonder if the crossbow is strong. It's radio. Oh, here we go. You're in just fine. I'm a super big fan of the show. What, what a treat to be on with you today. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, Terry. <laughs> now, I hear you're doing something special for Deerfest. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm crafting a selection of custom basewood cuckoo clocks, but the real special sauce is when it's cuckoo time and you're expecting a bird to pop out for a chirp. Out comes a big old deer. Well, that's just neat. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Real neat. 
That's going to have the tourists tickled pink. And I hear you're selling these at the Sunday market. So make sure to say hello to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, while you're there, all right? Terry, you, you, you still there? Yeah, yeah, still here. I'm just... Jeez, Pat, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. I, I, I thought you heard Wendy's dead. Huh. Oh, boy. That's, that's a strange joke you're playing there, Terry. No, it's... I, I, I'm sorry, Pat, you... You know all that FBI business. Wendy was one of those bodies they found. Well, that's just not possible, Terry. Wendy stopped by this morning with three flavors of beef jerky. She brought me the uh, the, the smoked hickory and the teriyaki and, and then... What was that other one? I'm, I'm real sorry, Pat. What was that other one? She was... Just talking about this just hours ago. Smoked hickory turkey? A teriyaki? Interesting. Hickory teriyaki. Thanks, Tapio. It's, it's just a bit of a strange joke, Terry. The Yako and I won't put you up to this. Pat. Well, somebody's having a laugh over this little prank, I'm sure. Terry, thank you so much for your time. Can't wait to see those deer fest cuckoos at the market. Wendy will be there with her beef jerky as always, and and we'll be back after this. I think if we're playing the original Alan Wake, we'd probably be like probably halfway through the game. If I'm correct. Remember the like first Alan Wake was not super long. Mm, this doesn't look locked up. Ah, uh, nothing in it though. Oh, there is a lunchbox nearby. And another lunchbox. Interesting. Seven, not bad. Lowered my rifle, standing at a car roof. Tell him his own story. Hmm. Well, should have some more stuff for the case board. One's gonna be Colt stashes, the newest Colt stash. Oh, wait. Stash was found in a shooting range near Watery. It's a watery area. And another watery area. How much is in Watery? Oh, same amount. It's like, oh, looks like Bright Falls has a lot. So it looks like Watery has the second most. Nursery rhymes. We have actually solved one. Reacting to the rhyme made the environment change. Let's see. What are these who made them? Hmm. Strange dolls. Cauldron Lake Rhyme. Nope. No. My bad. Maybe I put this up for later. Oh, no. Let's see. Charm appeared. Ram found at the shooting range near Watery. Do they have a Watery section? Yes, they do. So there are lots of rhymes in Watery. Pretty good amount in Cauldron Lake. However, though, we haven't solved any of the Cauldron Lake ones quite yet. Bright Falls rhymes. There's a couple rhymes in Bright Falls. And there's a shit ton of uh, dolls. So actually, speaking of dolls, we have the moose doll. Yep. So that's the deer doll and the moose doll. Getting there. <laughs> Alex Casey lunchboxes. We just found our first one in water. Which there's not 
too many from what I saw. And watery. About six. Okay, never mind. I thought there was only three. Alright, so our main objective is to just get to the Coffee World gift shop first and then get to the, uh, the other thing. It looks like we need to find another uh, lunchbox. It doesn't look like we can get in here. So we can't climb the radio tower. Ah, picnic area. This goes down. Okay, it looks like it loops. Oh, it's another one of the rhyme areas. Lots of eaten apples. More of those rhymes. Interesting. Well, I think before that, let's see if there's any dolls nearby. There's a couple places to jump down from. All right. It's got our bearings. Let's see if we can solve this one then. So it seems like there's probably only a place for one. Alright, what do we have? Three little deers venture. I hope we don't have to have three deer ones. It's three little deers roam to roam. Found a nice place to eat and eat and play. Oh, there we go. I have a weird feeling something's changed. Oh, yes, indeed. Things are changing indeed. <laughs> what did change over here? Oh. Shit. <laughs> ah, crap. Reload. Can't forget the dolls. My um, yeah. Is it dead? Did it only need two arrows? Shit. So the crossbow seems to be pretty powerful, but doesn't seem like we can retrieve our crossbow bolts. Oh, is that the deer? Another charm for my bracelet. Let's see. Increases resilience against being staggered or interrupted. Hmm. Take that one. We can have some damage resistance. That would be pretty cool, too. Well, she said something about not leaving behind the, uh, the dolls. run into the light real quickly. I don't know if I need to or not, but ah, she doesn't get healed too much in the light. That might change in the future, but for now it's just like this is kind of the thing, you know? Let's see. Do we have any more other healing items? We do. I guess we'll just kind of swap between painkillers and 
the trauma packs? Yeah, trauma pads. Trauma pads are your second lowest healing item. <laughs> then I think it's the uh, first aid kits. Yeah, those those freaking uh, wolves are not fun, man. I don't. Looks like a hiker. Okay, I don't know. Oh, two bolts to kill him. Not bad. I might have to use this on a stronger enemy. We'll save the uh, last two for something a little bit scarier. Oh, we can retrieve them. So wait, what about that wolf though? Maybe it's uh, maybe it's RNG based. If you can retrieve bolts or not. I don't know. I'm gonna retry that. Let's see if you can retrieve the bolts. This doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. I have to cross that watery area. The bridge seems a little s pretty sound. See any signs of uh, something to find here? Hmm, picnic area. Doesn't lead anywhere except for the picnic area, but there is a lunchbox nearby. It seems like there's a lunchbox. There's another lunchbox. Yep. Lunchbox. Gotta see what the upgrades to the uh, crossbow is because the crossbow, I'm kind of liking it. Hopefully there's a upgrade to speed up the reload, if anything. See what the crossbow has. Crossbow looks like 18. Fires two bolts before needing to. Ooh, that would be really good. Then pull the string, hold the fire button to draw the crossbow further and for increased damage and straighter arc. Oh, not bad. A magnetic pull. Bolts. Lodged into enemies will attract bullets fired near them? Really? So you can, like, shoot someone first with the crossbow. It looks like a lot of these, like, upgrades tend to tie into each other with different weapons. Interesting indeed. Let's do that one. Hit the taken with the crossbow. She switched to her gun and kept firing at it. The bullets hit home, following a strange trajectory, as if the bolt had carved a track in the air for them. A magnetic pull for them to follow. Very interesting. I like that. Any other case stuff? Yes. That was for the nursery rhyme. Not the lunchbox? Nursery rhyme, watery. There we go. It's our second one. We have a few, a lot more. It's a lot of nursery rhymes and watery. It's interesting to have to actually orientate my uh, my actual uh, K 
camera in order to pick something up. I have to, be, I have to actually see it. So wait. Casey lunchboxes. Okay, it didn't show up, but it's there. How many of those do I have? Okay, four more. Okay. So it looks like we might have a split in the road. Or no. Yeah, we kind of do. There's a ranger's cabin. So we'll probably go towards the ranger's cabin first. It looks flooded though. Oh, maybe the ranger's cabin is up here. Oh, we can't go to the ranger's cabin because of the flooding. So maybe once we figure out something to do over here, we could probably go to the ranger's cabin. I'm guessing this is an unexplorable area for now. Alright, so I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. I think if I fight more than one enemy, it's probably good to maybe shoot my first enemy with a crossbow and switch to a faster gun. Interesting. Lots of rubber ducks. Hot dog stand. Those fake balloons. Always gotta check the outhouses. This area is pretty big. Standard wise. It's like maybe another safe area. Yep. Another safe area. Got a crossbow bolt. Got that. There's usually always a manuscript in one of these. <clears throat> Scratch stalked through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night, more sense than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him. His army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head. Waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy. It's like we need Ash. With his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it. To make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold. A detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes. Filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him. It called him on. Let the final deer fest commence. Huh. That's a little bit later in the uh, story. It's like he's building a little army. Makes sense. Story. Clicker. So where would this go? Okay. A little bit more detail on the clicker. Do another manual save. Okay, Let's see how big this area was. Looks like we looked through most of it, but now we're near the gift shop. Hello? Shh. Anyone?
anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I turned. I get the key to the trailer park myself. There's something else in there. Ilma or said the key no. is kept in the gift shop safe. <laughs> hmm. Surprised the stuff's still running. It looks a little uh, dilapidated. Big old teacup or coffee cup. I was say there's not gonna be teacups if it's coffee world. <laughs> kind of glad I got my hands on the uh, crossbow now. Oh, it's not a manuscript. Coffee World Review Notes, pros, coffee themed name for the rides, mildly amusing, nice view of watery from the top of the Ferris wheel, and three, the mascots trying their best, uh, what else, okay coffee, cons, rickety rides, creepy mood, money hungry owner, <laughs> they killed the poor moose, oh no! Two out of five. <laughs> so yeah, definitely not reviewed well. What happened to the moose? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I feel sad now. Can we pop the balloons? I don't know. They're not real balloons. They're probably can't, they're not, probably not poppable. This coffee world has its own little map, but we don't have to worry about that since I. Th I think it is, yeah, it's marked. Interesting, so we have an amusement area. Locked. Yeah. Something to Jimmy it open. This is where we're gonna get our screwdriver. A list let's, of maintenance work. <clears throat> let's look at sticky notes first. A screwdriver. Mm. Huh. Screwdriver. Log maintenance. Slow roaster pod is stuck. Won't swing. Yeah. A log maintenance. Fallen tree near Latte Lagoon. Wait, what was the other ones called? Uh, the defaced energy. Okay, never mind. And several burned out bulbs. Um. Let's go to our case board. We're going to Trail of the Colt. Coffee World. The most caffeinated place on earth. <laughs> and yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Hmm. Trailer Park Key. Well, for one thing, we got a little situation with that. And I think got that, which will lead into this. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. I'm surprised the FBI hasn't got it, like kitted out with a uh, lockpick kit. kit. Uh, FBI budget must be a little low these days. Ah, uh, we can go in here, I think. Oh, uh, this must be the Ferris wheel area. So why? Oh. Uh, only... Only striped cups. Oh. Are there symbols or numbers? Numbers. And it has to go this way. So wait, are we looking at the numbers from a different point of view? Twelve? Oh, but striped. One. So one. One. Four. One, four. And seven. 
This is a three number combination, right? So maybe one or seven. Oh, first try. So we got ammo. Do not take this if it's not yours. All right, well, fuck you, Colt. Okay, we can put this and watery. Got more ammo, which is really nice. Anything else within this area? What does that say? We're sorry, the toilet is temporarily out of order. How the fuck? All the toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. <laughs> Literally. Hmm. So I'm wondering once the flood is down, we'll be able to explore that area. So I don't want to go too fast because it might trigger too many things. Okay, we got some more batteries at least. That means we're going to have some combat. Wait a minute. I definitely heard something in that. I have a feeling someone's gonna bust out of the porta potties. All right, so that's the slow roaster. Where exactly are we going? So we need to find that. Uh, need to find that screwdriver. So I guess we need to explore Coffee Word for a little bit. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's explore a creepy amusement area in the middle of. Woods. I really hope there's not a bear that was taken. Because that's going to really suck. Pelicator. Which was in the thing. And an espresso S express. Wait. Is that... What is that? Is that ketchup? Can't tell what that is. I'm going to keep going to Medicator. Is that Moose again? Got my finger on that trigger, man, just in case. Oh, nice. I wonder if there's going to be clues behind that. Well, right now, I don't have any reason to search for clues. Bowling row. Three dollars, three tries. Really? Breaking row. Jeez, they're expensive as shit. Two dollars for five bolts. Hit the balloons to win. Would they actually give people crossbow bolts? Uh, there's a little teacup area. I <laughs> like these little cartoon mooses. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Fuck. Calm down, Saga. It's She's not fucking cool. Have a beautiful day. Scared the shit out of me.
Nothing there. Might have to check up on clear. Make sure you're here. Claire <laughs> just woke up. Oh no. <laughs> Latte Lagoon. So we've explored all of this area. I don't think we can get to Latte Lagoon because of the flood. Pretty sure we can't. <laughs> Big old pie. What type of pie? So like it's maybe pumpkin. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I have a feeling coffee. I mean, a latte lagoon's kind of unexplorable for now. Yeah, something's gonna cause the flood to go down, or water levels to go down. But it probably means story progression. Okay, so now we need to go to... Uh, the predicator's gonna be over here. Yeah, there it is. Percolator, I mean. I keep song calling it predicator. Uh-oh. Something just shut off the ride. Are we gonna have to fight on that? Because that's gonna be weird. We're gonna have to fight on that. I'm gonna have to change my weapon. Oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. What the fuck? Is there more than one? Yeah. Shit. Reloading. Got him. Oh, fucking fantastic! Ooh, that could have been a little bit worse if there was more enemies. Doesn't look like I can get to him, so that's a bolt down. So what was the purpose in the... Oh, probably to get the screwdriver. Hey, this should get that gift shop open. Sweet. Now we can unlock all the ones that have, well, locks on it now. Which is funny that a screwdriver can do all that. Which I'm not quite done exploring this area. It's Ominously silent. Gotta hate that thing. Uh oh. We got company. So about a crossbow and two bullets does the job. Let's see if we can collect that crossbow. I might have got destroyed. Damn. That's like super damaging. What the shit? Impending darkness. Impending. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. There's fucking axes too, huh? Got him. Oh, died with one crossbow. Nice. 